President Biden used his State of the Union address to tout his economic agenda and also to go after former President Trump. Our partners at PolitiFact reviewed Biden's speech and found some of his claims to be off the mark. Paul Spey has more. Our team checked 15 of President Biden's claims from his State of the Union address. Let's go over a few of them, starting with this one about former President Donald Trump. Now my predecessor, a former Republican president, tells Putin, quote, do whatever the hell you want. Biden was referring to a speech Trump made last month, and there's a little more to that quote than Biden lets on. Trump was not inviting Russia to come take over Europe. He was recalling a conversation he had years ago when he said NATO members need to pay their fair share if they want the U.S. to protect them. Up next, federal government finances. I've been delivering real results in fiscally responsible ways. We've already cut the federal deficit. We've already cut the federal deficit over a trillion dollars. The deficit is the gap between how much the government spends and how much it collects in revenue. And that gap, it did shrink by a trillion dollars between 2021 and 2022. But you can see the deficit is still higher than it was before the pandemic. Now, Biden said several times that the government would have more money to work with if the rich paid more in taxes. You know what the average federal tax is for those billionaires? No. They're making great sacrifices, 8.2%. When it comes to income, IRS data shows from 2020 that the richest taxpayers paid an average rate of 26%. That 8% number, the White House told us, it represents how much the rich pay overall if we consider how much their stocks are worth. But the IRS doesn't tax stock values, at least not until they're sold. So Biden is misrepresenting the rate here. We've actually checked this claim before, and the truth meter rated it. False. Read our full roundup at WRL.com.